Stage guest tonight are Dallas's Ken Kirchhoff, singer Anita Baker, accompanied by George Stoop, Ava Gabor, and the First Lady of Etiquette, Marcia Bell Stewart. Christmas parties at work. Anybody else? Anybody saw yours? We had ours Saturday, and it was very, it was just for the staff, we're gonna have, and, and, and the, the band and the crew and everything, it was, and it was very exciting. And we had all kinds of new games. Somebody said, let's play games. We played a new game. How many of you have done this yet? It's called the Republican game. It's called Bobbing for Alibis. And, and Admiral Poindexter showed up. Isn't that something? just went to the bar, took a fifth, and left. So we... <laughs> and everybody... Because at a Christmas party, you get a little nuts. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of drink. Mark kept running around going, yo, let's spike the punch and someone threw my dog in. And then... Barbie Slutsky, who was my secretary, who besides being really major stupid. I mean, she, we found out she's dyslexic. She kept trying to jump into the cake. And then celebrities showed up. Don Johnson came. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Looking very great. He had a very sexy stubble, and so did Madonna. And then... You're right. Madonna looked great. She was wearing her hair up, and she has the most wonderful ankles I've ever seen. Hey, hey, hey. We have a fabulous show for you tonight. We have Anita Baker with the... And with Anita Baker, we have the incredible George Duke at the piano, and that's... Kercheval, that's French. And we have Marjorie Stewart on Holiday Manor, so don't go away. We'll be right back at this message of interest, okay? Oh. The Late Show is brought to you by your Toyota dealer and the all-new Camry sedan and wagon. Who could ask for anything more? And by Zales Jewelers, leading with style. This is the dawn of a new day for the station wagon. Introducing the all-new 1987 Toyota Camry wagon. Camry now combines the wide open spaces of a wagon, the passing power of a new 16-bow fuel-efficient engine, and the Toyota quality that has made Camry the most trouble-free new car, domestic or import, sold in America. In the tradition of Christmas past, Zales brings you the Christmas present. Gifts with style. Fabulous quarter carat fashion rings, just $3.49. Or choose from half carat styles for just $5.99. Or dazzling one carat styles, $9.99. Zales Christmas presents. Buy now and pay nothing until April of 87 at Zales. Reading with style. Musk, wear it well into the night. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. 
this holiday season, serve the very best at any gathering. All white meat chicken tenders from Burger King. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. This holiday season, have a party with Chicken Tenders 20-piece holiday pack from Burger King. All white meat chicken breast fillets cooked in 100% vegetable oil. So quick, open up a 20-piece holiday pack and have a party, because there ain't nothing like the real thing. show in the audience i feel like ed sullivan in the audience tonight we have the majority of the cast of singing in the rain which is a wonderful musical which is currently the potatoes theater here in hollywood where are you singing in the rain people stand up there they are. isn't that nice also tonight we are in a very festive holiday mood because um Every, every major city and every major kind of show has a wonderful kind of tree lighting ceremony. We have some shots, which I'd like to show you now, of Rockefeller Center and the White House and their trees that went up this week. Yeah. Here we go. Everybody watch your monitors. California, we also have trees, even though it's the stupid kind of weather. I mean, Rudolph's going, oh, please, please. <laughs> but we also here at the Late Show have many traditions, and we decided to have our own Late Show Los Angeles Christmas tree. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome this year's Christmas tree, Kevin Tannenbaum. <laughs> Anybody sends the gift, it will go right under Kevin. It'll just be standing here. But yes, yes, Clint, right under Kevin. Feb well knows where she wants to be. And may I also say, be, because of my religion, because we'll get some letters out there, I was looking for a Jewish tree, but I couldn't find anyone that had pine cones on it. So that's the way it goes. Now, if you all come over, the Joan Jones and Mark, please, let's get over here and sing a little bit, and we're going to light up. We're going to light you up, Kevin. Okay. Light old Kevin up, are you? Here we go. Everybody ready? Okay. This is so exciting. It's my first time to turn a man on. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Put your one. Count down with me. One, two, Oh. Uh, first gift of the season from all of us to you. We'd like you to open it right here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, look what it is. Can you canoe, canoe? It's a damn product. I'm sick of this. <laughs> well, now you can canoe your way through the holiday season. You give me a product? It's not uh, a hint, though. Oh, just, just watch it. It goes back right under you, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back with... Who are we gonna be right back? Ken Kercheval. Ken Kercheval. Anita Ken, Baker. Anita Baker. With George Duke. And Ava Gabor. And Marjorie Stewart. After these messages. <laughs> Lush 
You are looking at the perfect Christmas present. An amazing product of advanced technology that you could never, ever give at Christmas before. The incredible new Spectra system from Polaroid. We take your picture seriously. It's the new white one. Yes, sir. You can't miss it. Oh, sorry, this one's mine. I knew it. Uh, uh, no, I believe a luxury car isn't a luxury car if it looks like something else. Uh-oh, not mine. Lincoln Town Car, sir. Yes. There's nothing like a Lincoln Town Car. Its luxury is unmistakable. It stands alone in styling and prestige. This year, as always, the Town Car is distinctively Lincoln. What a luxury car should be. You wouldn't listen. Experience Panasonic CD sound. Portable compact disc players with sounds so rich, so real. They'll change the way you hear the world. Sensational CD sound. Another Panasonic experience just slightly ahead of our time. is Cliff Barnes, the evil nemesis of J. I know of J.R. Ewing and CBS's series Dallas. Okay, <laughs> will you please welcome Ken Kershaw? Dallas has been on. That's right. It's incredible. Yeah. And you just keep Dynasty Comes and Dynasty Now is starting to go. Yeah. And they put you opposite Miami Vice. Yeah, they did. And, you, you and just, that's, yeah. That, their mistake. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But, you know, Dallas has its audience. I think we'll always have our, our audience and our ratings are going up and up and up. Unbelievable. It's great. Isn't it huh? wonderful? Yeah. And you've been on since the very, very, very beginning? The when first, did you come The on? first scene that was ever shot. Uh, in the miniseries, was between uh, Victoria, uh, Victoria Principal and me. You know her? Oh, I love She's... Victoria Principal. Oh, oh, excuse me, it's holiday season. Just excuse me. I am willing to make up with Victoria I will, Principal. I'll, I will send, I'll, I'll send you regards. I'll send you Are regards. Are you friendly with her? Very. Let's call her up. Okay. You got her number? I got her number years ago, honey. Oh. <laughs> She'll talk to you, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. She'll talk to me, too. We're very close. No, we... she's watching, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We, I, I've said a few things over the year, but you silly have. things. A few minor things. Did she really date Moses? I'm just trying to... A little joke, a little joke. Okay. I'll say you're calling. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, I hope she's not. Can't hear it ringing. It's not ringing. It's not ringing. I can't hear ringing. Should I try it again? Yeah. Oh, I hope she's not home. She's not only home, she's sitting on this phone, I'll tell you right now. Oh, oh shh. Hello? Ah, is uh, Miss Principal there, please? Hi. Ken Kershaw? Oh, come on. <laughs> She'll think it's fun. You get on first. Oh, my no. golly. Is she really there? They're gonna check through, the service is gonna check through. You get on first, you just say hello, oh. how are you, you know. Uh, what am I going to say to her? Just say, talk about the old days. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's talk about the old days. Oh, my word. What and then I say, hold on, a dear friend wants to say hello. <laughs> then you say, I can't find her, here's Joan. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, you're going to say you'll be fine. What'd you say to her in bed? <laughs> Just trying to get information. You know, we get along very, very well. Not Does after this. Not it's over yeah. now. Oh, boy. You're a very shallow person to go along with this. I am. I am. No, you're very Did good you say to go. I'm shallow? I said you were shallow to go along oh. with this. So there's nobody home. Well, they probably haven't looked in her bedroom. Just, just hold on. <laughs> There's got to be someone else. How long does it take you to get to the phone? Oh. The click they said we went on. to get her. Click things. Say went to get her. Yes, somebody answered the phone. We all heard this. Did we hear this? Yeah. And they said, hold on, please. What time is it? It's... Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, okay. Here go all the jokes. <laughs> Don't be nervous. I'm you can not, tell us I'm a little not, about her. You know, this not, means she I'm obviously not, doesn't want to talk to you because she doesn't know it's me. So obviously she's just not such a good friend of yours either. She probably hates you, Ken. No, she doesn't. Well, for someone that likes her, she's really running to the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Even if she's out on another street, she should be on the phone by now. I know. Shall we give it up? She, she hasn't no. answered at all? No. Should we give it up? No! no. Shall we, we dial talking? again? Okay, we'll try it again. You ready? Yeah. Did you get a dial tone? No. No. Yes. Okay, here we go. You know, Ken... I'm really trying to think. I can't think of anything to say to her. Oh, say, Merry Christmas. Guess who this is? Say the fleet's in. <laughs> Line, lines busy. Line's busy. Line's busy? Yeah. Yes, it is. All right, we're not giving up. We're not giving up. You're getting very nervous. What's going to happen tomorrow on the set? She's got a great sense of humor. No, we're off. We're off for a hiatus. We're, we're off for Christmas. So that's good. So by the time, you know... It means I can figure out... She'll hear about this. <laughs> and, and then I'll try to figure out what I'm going to say to her when I see her again. What do you do when you're nervous? You do needlepoint, right? Well, sometimes. Let me see your needlepoint. Yeah. You, sometimes. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And then I... You know, I bought this in Paris, but you know, I bought some... I did... Show it to the camera. You do very good needlepoint. Look, at, no, show them the back. Yeah. It's the back you got to see. Yeah, I didn't... That's the important part. You didn't bring yours? I, mine, you didn't bring I'll, get, I'll get mine from down... Can somebody get mine from downstairs? My backs are a mess. My fronts are pretty, yeah. What? Uh, and in real life, it's just the opposite. But it's like... When did you learn to do needlepoint? I, well... After the show was going, you know, it, it's tough sitting around the set because you, you can't do anything. You can't read a book. Right. Because the minute you get into it, you got to get up and you got to go for this and this and this. So I, I, I did needlepoint one year. But then that's bad because you can't smoke. Because when you smoke, you light a cigarette, you can't have it hanging out of your mouth, so you put it down. And then you say, okay, oh boy, I want a drag on a cigarette. And you say, well, I can't take a drag. I'll take a drag when I get to the end of the row. And then you get to the end of the row, and then you start a couple stitches here and you forgot to take a drag. It's tough. Do people tease you? Oh, you do we need a point? I do they tease you? I went, I went into a yarn shop one day and a lady came up to me. I was looking for some yarn. A lady came up to me and she said, it's okay. <laughs> and I said, okay. Can and I have my says, get? And, and uh, I said, okay. And she says, no, it really is. It's okay because Rosie Greer does it. That's very... Give me my needlepoints. Everyone's sneaking around. Can someone just hand me mine? Well, Thank yours. you, Sandy. Well, you do big ones. No, I do big ones. My, you do my scenery. front is as pretty as yours. Mine's scenery. Mine's scenery. That's my front. All right. Now, let me show you Mess City. Look at the back of this thing. It's a yeah. mess. Now, it is. can you see this? Get it up close. <laughs> it's a mess. Now, I think Vicky should be off the phone. Nervous. I'm You've sorry. done worse. I heard about the early jobs you had. Oh, oh here we go again. Yeah. I'll disguise my voice. Uh, she was going away, you know. Sure. She was, really. I know. She was going to Europe. Yeah, sure. Don't you wish? <laughs> no, she was. 
I know that. Yeah, well, then, then what are you so nervous about? You just missed a stitch. She might not have gone yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some of the ants at her house. They may be watching the show. Well, then, but, well, I want to make up. I'll tell her as a gift. I've got some lovely fake pine Dr. Rivers office, can you make a, a special emergency breakthrough, please? It's Beverly Hills. Everyone hold your ears now. It's how her last facelift went. Oh, oh, oh so I'm doing it for you! <laughs> we'll say Ken is calling again. I'm sorry? Uh, is this the operator? Yeah. Yeah, could you just say it's Dr. Kirscherville and Dr. Rivers' office calling, trying to break through, please? Yeah, what's the number again? Oh. 278. I'm not allowed to say it on the air. Oh, no. 278. <laughs> Calling. Thank you. <laughs> of course, we can. Do you think we can sell these things? <laughs> Who huh? gives a shit? <laughs> yes. The line's clear. The line's clear. Thank you. It's Dr. Kershaw calling. I don't give up. <laughs> they should have hired me instead of Cliff Robertson. <laughs> Call out the number if you remember it. <laughs> So don't go away, okay? okay? Lobsters, crab legs, and crab legs and lobster, and how about crab legs and fresh fish? And now for a half pound of snow crab legs and your choice of eight seafood favorites, starting at seven ninety five at Red Lobster now. Red Lobster presents the Platters. Oh yes, it's the holiday season. A medley of party platters to go. Heavenly taste of shrimp and crab claws. It's party time. Call Red Lobster for party platters to go.
purchase from Laird Ton, you can have these exclusive earrings. $22.50 at Macy's. A new community is on the way to creation, extraordinary in concept. In New Jersey, across the Hudson from the World Trade Center. Using New Jersey Bell's advanced technology to provide community centrics and premium resident services. This is Newport. Just got home. And we are New Jersey Bell. The genius behind your first look at the 21st century. Sweet charity of the Minskoff Theater. Call Charging. Bring your friends and be a Try before every guest, okay? Hello? Oh. It's just good to. I want to say hello to Vicky. I got you. It's a good excuse. Don't give up. We've got four more shots. Me, and we're very lucky on this show. This show has been so lucky, especially for the musical artists that have been on. May I just. Uh, we have the bangles on. They went to number one. Isn't that exciting? Yes. With, uh, we had on. Uh, Wang Chung, they went to number three with Everybody's Having Fun Tonight. And my next guest not only has two hits on the charts, but since she's been on here, she announced her engagement, which I think is very exciting. Will you, yes, yes, isn't that wonderful? She's a nice girl, she's got a nice guy. Will you please welcome Anita Baker with George Duke of the Town singing Moon Dance. night for a moon dance beneath the stars up above in your rugs a fantabulous night to make romance neath the cover of October skies and all the leaves on the trees are falling to the sound of the breeze as it blows I keep trying to place to the calling of your heart strings that play soft and low every time I touch you will you tremble inside and I know that you want me but baby you know you can And when you come my heart will be waiting to make sure that you're never alone. There and then all my dreams will come true. There and then I'm gonna make it my own. Every time I touch you, will you take my heart and I know how much I want me. Oh, baby, you know you can't. Thank you. 
didn't say the name of the album. So first I said George Duke's album just called George Duke, and yours is called Rapture, right? Yeah. And let me see the ring before we do oh, anything. Oh, come please, on. Please, promise not to kill it. Oh, I won't kill I'm no, so happy you got I remember, engaged. But I remember the Victoria, I saw the Victoria Principal show, and you never let that. Let's, let's call it. <laughs> She said it was an engagement ring, and it was. Now, let's see uh, yours. Oh, okay. Be uh, gentle. I'll be gentle. I'll be gentle. <laughs> okay. Let he, me see. He's a working man. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Hi, <laughs> it's, how old? How old are you? 28. Perfect. It's beautiful. It's is beautiful. It, it, really? it could be earrings very soon, but right... No. <laughs> Never give up. The love of my life. The now, man of my now, who is he? He's uh, uh, a guy that, that lives in Detroit, Michigan, which is my hometown. Right. I'm going to marry a hometown guy. Great. Good, good. And uh, he, uh, he's in marketing uh, for IBM. And uh, so he got me a nice little it's thing. It's not that little, it's my dear. That, no, I Excuse think me, it's that's about a nice. carrot and a carrot and a half. Well, it's just about a carrot. Yeah, it's true. And, well, it's, and glitter, glitter, glitter. Don't yes, be piggy. Yes, yes. There's more to come. Uh, mm. And Keep three years from now, you put this on this ear, then another one on that ear. Tell him to get me the, this one. Exactly. Well, this is a oh, fakie. Yeah. yeah. But still, we yeah. want well, to. Well, I'll trade you right now. <gasps> yeah, that, but so now, you're going to get married at home? Yeah. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Big wedding? I hope so, because, I mean, his family is, is in Detroit, and my family is in, is in Detroit. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. So we're gonna, we, we gotta do a big one for everybody. It's my first, my yeah, first time. Yeah, and let's, and let's hope your only time. Mm. Wouldn't that be wonderful? It is gonna yeah. be. Walter, it's gonna be our only time. What? I'm gonna be in Detroit, yeah. When is the wedding gonna be? Well, we're trying to plan it. I mean, he has to sell plan his house I'm gonna and be buy there. another one. <laughs> I'm going to be there January, January 24th. Oh, you wanna... My birthday is the 26th. We're trying to do it like a year from now. So do it, it January 25th. Walter, I'll come. it's got to be January 25th. Walter, Walter, January 25th, I can make it. Okay. Walter, <laughs> Walter, if you don't, I'll be calling you on your wedding night. You know me now? <laughs> what are you doing other songs? Sure will. The two of you, I didn't even talk sure. to you. You're both okay. doing a thank you. So what are you going to sing this time? Uh, what a God bless the child. Okay. God bless the child. Okay. <laughs>
Coming in on which underwear you choose most. Fruit of the Loom are the next five brands combined. Take it away, Grapes. Our briefs and T-shirts are building a landslide. Coast to coast. They fit great and last long. We're outselling the next five brands combined. We're voting for you with our dollars. So for quality and value, Fruit of the Loom is the people's choice. Number one outsells the next five brands combined. Bulletin. Now save up to $5 on Fruit of the Loom underwear. Details at participating stores. There's something new from Selsun Blue. New extra medicated Selsun Blue in the new blue bottle. What's so new? It's extra medicated for the symptoms of my serious dandruff. And it tingles as it works. That's because it has an extra medicine, plus the ingredient recommended most by doctors. You can buy a more effective dandruff ingredient without a prescription. For serious dandruff, all Selsun Blue formulas, including new extra medicated Selsun Blue, have the ingredient recommended most by doctors. Introducing the all-new Toyota Tercel for 1987. Simply more bang for the buck. Tercel for 87, Toyota's lowest price car, now gives you explosive new styling. More power to pass with a new 12-valve fuel-efficient engine and quality that has made Toyota Tercel more trouble-free than any other new car sold in its class. Drive it. You'll get a bang out of it. Who could ask for it? She loved me, and she's gone. Did I invent her? The secrets in her twilight eyes, the whispers at my bedside, her arms, her mouth. Save me. But how? Her amber hair and all the smell of it. She's deep in my blood, the only woman I'll ever love. Love is child's play. Once you've known obsession, Calvin Klein's obsession. Ah, oh, the smell of it. At Macy's Bamberger's. You guys want to get on and say hello to Vicky? George, you'll say hello, won't you? Anita? Uh, sure. Okay, that's right, Vicky, do again. You have to say you're on the telephone. Uh, if I get Vicky, I know I have to say we're on the telephone. Come on over here. Oh, she can no. ask for advice. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's she gonna say to you? I don't know. That's what's scary. You could always sing to her. Okay. That I can do. <laughs> She's oh, got thank so God. Thank God. God. We're not finished. Huh? We'll Ava out here. We'll try again. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's introduce the next guest, then we'll go right back to this, okay? If anybody out there, by the way, lives near Victoria Prince, we're not gonna draw. Maybe she's knocked the phone off the hook by mistake. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, you know what I mean? Probably in her excitement to get to us, she went, oh, and has not notice. But my next guest is an actress who is the personification of beauty, glamour, vivacity. She's also a brilliant businesswoman. She's a great humanitarian. She has just received a lifetime award from the National Hospice Foundation. And she's an incredible gardener. She's even had a rose named after her. And most of all, I think she's a wonderful writer because she wrote this entire introduction. Will you please welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Ava Gabor. <laughs> Everything. 
thing. <laughs> you all and me late. I didn't have enough beads. Oh, you look incredible. <laughs> Darling, I must tell you, you're really something. What? I mean, I'm I... I'm trying have... to make up. It's holiday season. Poor darling, that is the most incredible energy I've ever known. And I am very energetic, and I do a million things. Compared to you, I'm so quiet. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm so afraid to tell her anything. She turns it around. Now, uh, you went to the white... That's gorgeous. That, I'll trade you. But now, but, oh. I have nothing <laughs> much. <laughs> I did go to the White House, and it was divine and beautiful. And the Christmas trees, I tell you, under Nancy, since Jackie Kennedy, the White House didn't look as gorgeous. It was breathtaking. And every time I go there, I say, but so funny, kids. What's your problem? It's Christmas, have a heart. But you know. Or two. I don't know about you boys. Shall I let it open or close? Again. It's holiday, you know it. So have a good time. I am, boy. Am I having a good time? Now, you look gorgeous, now, you know, darling. Thank you. Well, no, 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 no. You know, you know the old friends. I would tell you, you look smashing. I try. Uh, God knows we try. Oh, I, I hate to tell you, every year it takes longer. Longer? I have to get up the day before. To <laughs> But your clothes are smashing, you. your different hairdos are gorgeous, yeah. and that's all the compliments I'll give you. <laughs> but, but, but coming from you, because you... I'm well, very you, honest. You no, but that. you are the most incredible. I've never seen you looking lousy. Even when your marriage is breaking up and I saw you in Spago, you looked fabulous. But I... No, no she, not, she looked great. She was in a tight... Funny. She had that's a tight pair funny. of leather pants and a low-cut dress, and you were going, ooh, ooh, ooh. But everything was like... Quite everything. Quite tell you, darling, as you know better than anybody, you do not carry your problems on your sleeves. Because once in my life, and this is serious, when I first came to America, somebody said, hello, Eva, how are you? And I proceeded to tell him, well, I don't feel so good. I have a headache. And I saw these blue eyes turning absolutely like that. Never listen to me. So I learned that I am always happy, and then I go home and cut my throat. Yeah. But, you know, in private. But in private. Mm -hmm. What about temper? Do you ever let your temper just go? You know what I used to do? I used to go and buy cheap china because I'm too stingy to break the good one. And I, <laughs> and I went to the Tencent store, and I bought it, and I hit it with all my... It's the best release. If you hold it in, you get ulcers, which is very unfeminine. Yeah. Or you get whatever you get. You don't want to get it. When you come back again, and we'll Why talk more... Why are you getting rid no, of me we already? To, they, already wish, they already said to me, you commercial, know, commercial. We're not through yet. I know we're not. The, well, let's call... Do you know Victoria Principal at all? Sweetheart, cut it out already. You've oh, been calling me now. Do you know her at all? Would you like to of meet her? I love her. But oh, good that you get on first. I will. I, I, I do you in. <laughs> my God, my diamonds are in the way. Darling, you Busy. Know, may I tell you, my mother does it and it drives me crazy. She takes the phone off the hook when she doesn't want to talk to us. And I have a strong feeling Victoria doesn't want to talk to you. We'll be back with Marjorie Stewart. Now I'm hurt. At this session, why won't you ask? For removing deeply embedded carpet odors, all of these carpet deodorizers are excellent. They eliminate tough tobacco odors, all three of them. They root out stubborn pet odors, all three of them. But only one of these carpet deodorizers also stops static. New Static Guard Carpet Deodorizer eliminates tobacco odors, roots out pet odors, and it stops static shock. Static Guard, more than just another carpet deodorizer. Well, Sarah, I'm all packed. I guess you're pretty glad to have the room to yourself, huh? Well, I won't be here to give you advice or anything, but Buster Bear's agreed to stay so you won't get lonely. Oh, I left you something you really do need. I mean, the stay free? Believe me, it protects, even on those heavy days. Well, take good care of Buster. And Buster, look out for my sister. 
Stay free protection, a confidence you'll share. Now in new shape, too. Mommy can't get Chris a softer, safer swab than Q-tips. Because hey. Q-tips has 50% more cotton hey. at the tip. Isn't that a good feeling? Q-tips, a swab by any other name, just isn't the same. A waxy stick for chap lips. Wax is for candles. Vaseline lip therapies for lips. It's better because it covers more completely. It not only heals, it helps prevent chapping. With Vaseline lip therapy, you may never get chap lips again. Le Jardin. They say romance is back in style. I say it never went out. Le Jardin says it too. Le Jardin de Max Factor, the incurably romantic fragrance. I was once known as Linda Lovelace. But I, I'm a survivor. I call me a rat in school prison. Well, they can call me what they want to call me. I'm alive. Once I was given some cocaine at a party years ago, teeny bit. I'm a male feminist. I know what I am. And therefore, any woman with half a brain can control me like a dummy. It's provocative, revealing, and often amusing. A Current Affair with Mari Povich. Live, weeknights at 7.30 on Channel 5. Coco's coming. Who is that? Oh, my, the name dress. You don't mean to Coco. That's what I call a breathtaking woman. At Lord and Taylor. I'd give anything for another whiff of Coco. guest about this. My next guest is one of the most published etiquette experts in the country. She has co-authored 17 different books on manners for executives, on weddings, children. The magazines call her the queen, uh, oh, Time Magazine calls her the queen of courtesy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, and a very polite welcome, to Marjorie Stewart. Questions for you. Have you really? Oh. Hello. All the best. All the best. How nice to me. Oh, see, that's correct to do. <laughs> that's called television etiquette. I brought you some better bells than these. Greta Bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, what is what now isn't this rude when you know a dear friend is trying to get through to you and you take your phone off the hook? Isn't that rude? I really believe she's been rude, yes. So yes. yes. Do I send her a little note? What do I do tomorrow? I think a, rep a reprimand is in order. A reprimand? I do. I think a reprimand. I okay. don't think she knows you're calling, darling. Oh, I think she... Somebody has knocked on that door by now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me... Because etiquette, etiquette, oh, etiquette. This, isn't this marvelous? Christmas yes, etiquette. Yes, yes, yes. What do you do when people show up with a child? With a child? And you didn't invite them to a major party. Tell oh, me I, all the kind of things we have to worry about. Well, I think, first of all... Uh, if they do show up, you should probably just decide to be a babysitter and take care of the child. Because uh, it's not the child's fault, right? And have a good time with the child. But what have you got to make? This happened to us one time. You have yeah, a really? major party, and someone walked in with a cute little two-and-a-half-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I, I don't imagine you invited her back. No, no, uh, but, but you just... Can't you just the, say, I'm sorry, we just have no... No, there's not a thing you can do. You just have to make the child happy and, and go on with the party. Yes. But a terrible friend. Well, they were acquaintance. There's always an acquaintance oh, that does yes. it. It's never a friend. Yes. Well, Don't... they were probably dying to see you. You and meet you. You know that happens. And, yes. and, but it's... Do you just always have to take things that people yes, do, you do and be gracious? Yes, you do. Absolutely. You couldn't uh, throw uh, the child out. Oh, no, was I tempted? No. I live on a hill. Let's oh. walk. <laughs>